So once we've completed our samples, our title and our arrows, we are then set to cut them out and start to arrange them. So when you are cutting them out, and I'll start off first of all, um, I'll start off first of all with um, just one arrow. So I'm just gonna carefully just cut it out away from the rest of the paper. Um, then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut it and leave a little white border. So I'm just leaving a little white border. something that looks just like this so you're going to do that with your four arrows and with your title as well so I'll do the title next so you've got to curve with your scissors sometimes it's easy to just cut it completely away so you've got a bit more space nothing's getting in the way you can show control with a variety of materials and equipment. So this is equipment, a pair of scissors, where you've shown control when, when we're using a pair of scissors. And we're cutting with precision. So your white borders should be equal the entire way around the title. So there's my title. So far I've got one arrow. Two arrows. Three arrows. Um, so what I'm going to do with them then, I will position them in just a moment. The next thing that I'm going to cut out will be my little colour swatches. So you want the information as well as wanting the sample. So you can cut straight through the samples. One, two, three, they're all lined up with one another. So I'm cutting straight down. You are cutting exactly on the line. There's one sample. Two. And three. So now I'm going to lay them out. I'm going to get rid of um, my rubbish. Get rid of my rubbish. Um, 
sorry I totally forgot about these so I'm just going to cut around these if you would prefer to and I'm just going to see how good my cutting is if my cutting's not very neat I'm just going to write it out with my own handwriting sometimes that does look better this is the first experiment for me so I'll just see how it goes oh, I quite like that so cutting straight down curving around There we go, I've got everything I need now. So I'm just going to have a quick look back at the examples that we've seen. So in this example we can see the titles right in the middle with the arrows pointing out from it. Exactly the same in this one. So that's what I'm going to do with my layout. Um, I would like, you can either have it portrait or you could have it landscape. But if you are having it landscape, please make sure the folder's at the top and that the open bit is at the side okay so i am going to have my landscape um i'm going to glue my title straight into the middle just careful with the amount of glue that you use i only put a tiny bit on i'm not pressing hard at all have a little look does that sit in the middle is it nice and straight yeah i think it is and then what I tend to do is I use the back of my hand, which is normally clean. I haven't got no bits of shading pencil on it or colour pencil. Use the back of my hand just to pat it down. Um, now I'm going to position my arrows. Before I stick them, I'm going to have a look see if I like my layout first of all. Oh, the arrows are upside down. There we go, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to stick those down. Just like that. I really like that layout and then you can even um, position your little samples um, now you might decide that you want to draw your pictures first or you might want to put your samples first that's entirely up to you I think I'm gonna have mine there and then I'm also gonna put the little labels next to them so that one's gonna go there In there it's always good to lay it out first of all before you stick anything just to see if you like the layout yeah I quite like that so I'll start off with this one and then I'm gonna have my describe bit here because I quite like the idea of describing the colors and having little color samples next to it
and there we go so that's what my layout looks like so far the next thing that I need to do is get my mind map in there and a few drawings <laughs> 